Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the tag command. Now, the tag command is a very useful, extremely simple command which you can use. Uh, I'm going to basically show you all the ways you can use it and all the certain components of the command. This is a really cool command. I love it. It's really simple, and that sheep over there is not supposed to be out. Up to the second bit. So, here's an example that you can use tags for. So, for example, if you have a certain mob that you want to find uh, amongst a whole bunch of other mobs, I just have three sheep for now. You can actually use the tag command to find specific mobs to do things and in this case I want to teleport the sheep to me. So as you can see, in this case the sheep that I tagged, uh, and you can see that it allows the command to run with that specific thing. Now with this being said, it means that you can do a whole bunch of other things. And when I mean things, I mean a whole bunch of other commands with this. So let's say you wanted to tag a certain player. Well all you would have to do tag command, which is slash tag under my cap, and then you can do the tag command. But before we get into that, we want to actually know what types of commands you can use with the tag command. So it consists of three things, kind of like all the other ones, add, list, and remove. So basically add will add a tag. So let's add a tag here. Now in this case, I'm just going to add a test tag. So test, and then I'm going to hit enter. So automatically I've now been added to the tag list. And that leads us on to the next command, list command. Now the list command, it kind of makes sense, it will just list all the tags that the player has, which is pretty simple. Now if I wanted to remove the tag, all I have to do is type in the same command I had before, but simply hit remove and then test. Now this command is cap sensitive. Now basically what this means is if you put in any capital letters in the command, it will make it, or it will use that. So if you put in another, uh, let's say command and you misspell it and you don't put in capitals, it won't work. So just make sure that you put your tags in with caps if you remember them, or just all lowercase, which I usually do. Now, as I just showed you, there are three simple parts to the command. And obviously, if you wanted to add them to or tags to bulk amounts of entities, or you want to spawn some in, uh, but you don't actually want to have to go up to each mob and individually give it a tag, you can simply give yourself a mob egg with the tag on it. So let's get straight into this command. So it's basically the give command with the mob egg, but with an additional step to it. So what you want to do is you want to type in slash give, and we'll do at s just to make it a bit easier for ourselves. Basically, it just means give to yourself. Let's do an example of a sheep, sheep spawn egg. So as you can see, we auto filled that in. Now this is the part that you want to add. So we're gonna add a special NBT um, tag to this or NBT tag. And we're going to simply type in entity and tag and then a colon. Now after you do this, you want to do a early squiggly line bracket type in tags again, and then put in another colon. So basically we've got this, it's basically, if you imagine a folder, it's slowly going down. Um, we're going, adding a whole bunch of information into this. So entity tag, tags, and then we're going to simply put in a square bracket, quotation mark, um, and type in whatever you want. So I'm gonna put in test one, close the, put in a square brackets, and then close the curly brackets. So as you can see, it's gone yellow, which means that it's registered the command. And if we hit enter, we get given our sheep egg and you can see that it has, or if you can see on the screen here, it says that it has one NBT tag and that basically means that it's got it. So if we spawn in a whole bunch of sheep here and then we spawn in a whole bunch of normal sheep. So as you can see, these are normal sheep here. And then we decide to, you know, teleport them all to us. And then once you do that, you put in where you want it to teleport. So I'm going to do at S. And as you can see, all the sheep with the tag were teleported to me and the rest of the sheep were put over there. Now going back to the single mobs, if you did have a specific mob that you wanted to, let's say, add a tag to, I'll show you how to quickly do that. So instead of having to specifically, you know, find the name and stuff, what you want to do is you want to get your little plus icon and you want to point it at the mob. And then you want to simply open up your command console and type in the tag command. Now I'm going to hit space and you'll notice that a whole bunch of random letters and numbers pops up. Now this is the ID for that mob. So if we hit this automatically now have that mob and we can tag it. So I'm going to add add and I'm going to do tag one and hit enter. And you can see that we've actually added the tags. Let's go back to the teleport. If I go tag one, you can see that that sheep now has the tag command which is really, really cool. Well, that's about it. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I like to make a whole bunch of Minecraft content on a whole bunch of commands and yeah, it's really cool. I'm also so close to hitting 4K. So if you could please subscribe and like, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.